everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lindsay, and i am back today with another influencer vox box and this influencer vox box is the laura mercier tenant moisturizer vox box in this box they sent me their tenant moisturizer and they sent me their primer to try out so that's exactly what we will be doing today now if you are not familiar with influencer influencer is a website that you can sign up do some surveys, leave some reviews on your favorite products, and the more you do, the more likely you are going to be sent free products from influencers. So go ahead and check my description box below for my referral link and sign up so you can start getting some free stuff. But I always love it when they send me makeup related products because I love me some makeup, especially when it comes to concealers and foundations because I'm always for trying out something new. So today I will be trying this out. I'm not doing a wear test, just doing pretty much a review because they sent this to me a while back and I finally have time to review it. I did mention in the video that the shade is a tab bit light but we were able to somehow get it together because this is the final look as you guys can see but if you are interested in hearing a little bit more about Laura Mercier's tenant moisturizer and how I feel about this tenant moisturizer then keep watching <music> in the box box they sent me two items they sent me the primer and they sent me the tinted moisturizer now we'll go into details a little bit later about each product but right now i just want to apply the primer and the tinted moisturizer on so you guys can see now the tinted moisturizer it is a little bit too light for me so when i first got it and right before i filmed this video i did put it on my face again and it and it is a tad bit lighter influencer sent me the shade based off what I selected. So online, it looked like my shade, um, but it's a tad bit light. But of course, I'm gonna be doing my whole face um, after I apply this. So probably after I contour and stuff and add some color back into my face, it will look a little better but we will see how that goes. Now I've already moisturized my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this Pure Canvas Primer on. It says blurring. So of course, you guys see this is how the box looks, and then this is how the packaging looks for the primer. So the primer is white, of course. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they are clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put that on my face. So now I'm going to apply the tinted moisturizer. The box, of course, is the same as the primer. So this is how the tube looks. And again, this is their tinted moisturizer, oil free, natural skin protector, broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen. The shade that they sent me is 4W1 Tawny. They said to apply this with a foundation sponge or your fingertips. Of course, I'm going to use my sponge. So this is how it's looking. If y'all can see like the, uh, uh, you know, on, if y'all can see like it's pretty, it's pretty light on my hand. So. Let me go ahead and dampen my sponge real quick and I'll be back. All right, so my sponge is dampened and can y'all see like, that's pretty light, that's light. But we're gonna, we, you know, we're gonna see what we can do. It does have a little smell to it. It's nothing too bad, but it does have a little scent. Like it, it smells almost like um, sunscreen, but not like a really strong kind of sunscreen smell. So that's good. And of course I'm not going anywhere. I'm just trying to film these videos. So 
I'm not really doing things, so this is the perfect time to try this. Y'all know normally when I try like foundation and stuff, I, I sometimes do a, <coughs> ooh, I sometimes do a wear test. I'm gonna do this for just a couple hours probably. And y'all know sometimes when I do foundation reviews, I do do wear tests like all day and stuff, but we're not gonna do that today. As far as this, I just wanted to um, basically do a review. So I don't know if y'all can tell like now that, like I'm looking in the mirror and it doesn't look as light as it did when I first apply it. My skin is acting up, so that's, I don't know what's going on there. But I don't know, we're gonna see. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. Well, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this and then um, I'll be back to show you guys how it looks before I contour and all that stuff. All right, so this is how um, it's looking. My skin is really acting up. Like I have a couple of dry patches on my skin right now and it's really irritating. Okay. But um, here it's, here is how the tinted moisturizer is looking. It's still, hmm. I don't know if y'all can tell, like it still looks light, but it also looks like it's workable. It's workable. And also, honestly, like it doesn't even look like it doesn't even look like I have anything on. skin is definitely acting up but yeah it doesn't even look like I have anything on like right now it does not okay but anywho I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face um I just wanted to show you guys how it looks before I add everything else of course you don't have to add everything else I mean this would probably be something you know you just put on. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and contour and all that stuff, and then I will be back to show you guys the final look and let you guys know how I feel about it. All right, so I am back. I've completed my face, contour, highlight, all that stuff. So this is how my face is looking using the Laura Mercier uh, Tenant Moisturizer. So it doesn't look as bad now that I, you know, contoured and all that stuff, brought some more color to my face, it looks pretty good. Um, again, like I had stated, before I did all this, it didn't even really look like I had any type of tinted moisturizer on. Like, I mean, aside from the fact that the color was a tad bit light, but other than that, like, it looked like my face. So very, you know, very very nice very nice so let's go ahead and get into what each product really does so the laura mercier pure canvas primer it says on the back laura mercier's range of silicone free primers is the essential step to prepare the skin for a seamless makeup application the breathable formula seal in skincare and create protective barrier that extends makeup wear the blurring primer creates an instant mattifying filter, visibly reducing the appearance of fine lines, pores, and imperfections. Micro, micro algae, I don't know, <laughs> condition skin over time for improved look and texture. And of course, they say the technique apply after skincare, gently massage a dime piece amount onto skin with fingers, follow with foundation moisturizer or, oh, Follow with tinted moisturizer or foundation. So as far as your pure canvas primer, you don't have to use the tinted moisturizer. You can use a foundation. When it came to the 
primer, I really didn't notice it reducing appearance of fine lines or pores or any of that because I really wasn't paying attention to it. Um, to be honest with you, like I'm not really into primers. Like I get primers, but I don't have a lot of primers. I use the same primers and I honestly really don't be paying attention to primers like that. Um, to see if they actually do what they say to me most of the primers are pretty much the same But I'll give the primer a try with something else and I'll definitely pay attention to see exactly what it does now As far as the primer I did like the primer y'all saw me put it on my face. So it was like Well to a certain extent I like the primer as I was spraying the primer around on my face I didn't too much like the after the after um, touch of the primer, it reminds me of like bad lotion, you know? So I don't know if it was because the formula was a little bit thick, I don't, I don't know. But not saying I like things that's very like, you know, liquidy, cause I don't, but enough to make it feel like I'm moving it around. It kind of just like stayed there. So that's how I feel about the primer. Now, their Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free, a natural skin protector. It says, Laura Mercier Skin Perfecting, Perfecting Secret to a Flawless Demi Matte No Makeup Makeup Look. This multitasking blend of skincare and makeup helps control shine and provides a sheer hint of coverage. Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen helps protect against damaging effects of the sun perfect for sensitive or oily skin types and of course technique apply to skin apply to clean skin or with the foundation sponge or fingertips for added shine control set with laura mercier's i can't iconic translucent loose setting powder so it says for sunscreen use apply uh literally 15 minutes before sun exposure use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating, reapply at least every two hours. It says sun protection measures, spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease this risk, regular use of sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 15 or higher and other sun protection measures, including limited time in the sun, especially for especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So their tenant moisturizer, um, I wanna get into more tenant moisturizer because, you know, pretty much with tenant moisturizers, it's pretty much like a makeup, no makeup look. Like if you just wanna go out and just add a tad bit of color or something to your skin, you can add, uh, use a tenant moisturizer. That's pretty much what it is. It's a moisturizer that's tinted. It got a little color in there and all that stuff. Now, it did blend, I used the uh, foundation sponge and it blended out pretty good. So I do like that. Um, I did notice when I had put it on my hand and then dabbed it on, then dabbed the sponge on my hand, put it on my face, I noticed that the tinted moisturizer could possibly oxidize a tad bit. I could be wrong, not too sure. Like I had told y'all, the shade, uh, was a little bit too light for me, but eventually it kind of like came together. So I'm not too sure if it oxidizes or not. If anybody has tried this tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier, let me know down below in the comments. Did you think it oxidized or am I just tripping? Like just go ahead and let me know because I'm not too sure. But as y'all can see, like I got myself together, contoured and all that stuff and it doesn't look as bad you know of course probably um it not being 100 percent my shade if i wouldn't have contoured and stuff i probably would have looked casket ready like y'all had saw but we got it together and this is how it's looking of course before i added everything like i said it looked nice and it looked nice as in you know a no makeup makeup look you know if you didn't do all the glam very easy everyday quick makeup look that you can do using this tenant moisturizer so overall the tenant moisturizer i do like like i said maybe i will have to go up a shade we'll see but i definitely will get some use out of it because i mean they did send it to me and i'm not going to just let it 
sit here and collect dust. So I am going to use it, but I do appreciate Influencer and Laura Mercier for sending me these goodies because it's always nice to try new beauty products, especially foundations. I love trying new foundations because I like to see if it is my shade, I like to see how the formula is and all of that. I do like the formula. Like I said, it was easy to blend with a beauty sponge as well. So that's really good. But yes, I do want to thank them for sending me the goodies. Of course, um, you guys check the description box below. If you are not familiar with Influencer, go ahead and get familiar. Use my referral link down below, sign up, start doing the surveys, and you could possibly start getting some free items, okay? But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have used the Lori Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and the Primer recently, let me know down in the comments your thoughts about it. Did you like it? What did you not like about it? All that good stuff. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell so you when I miss a new upload from yours truly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one.